What is up everyone, Munching Orange here and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. We're starting off today's episode by picking up a special little Pokemon here in Vermilion City from Officer Jenny. We can actually get this Squirtle and again I don't really know why I waited to get it until now but we've got it. And of course no Pokemon is officially part of the team until they've been nicknamed and for this Squirtle I actually went with another uh, video game throwback from my past and that is Bentley. And no, it's not Bentley like the cars, it's actually Bentley the turtle from Sly Cooper. Now I actually wanted to show off the fact that I actually caught an Abra and how you can get one for yourself. As you can see, if you walk in front of it, it will teleport away, but if you go from behind, it is no problemo. As long as the Abra doesn't spot you, you can actually go ahead and get yourself one. And it's huge this time, so we're gonna try to get it. And I actually had a couple of fails trying to get Abra, so definitely don't mess around. If you throw too many Pokeballs, it will run away. So I'm going for the Great Ball here. We're gonna try to get it, even though it's, oh my gosh, that was not the best throw, but there we go. This time we're going to get it, and I'm pretty sure this should catch it here. Yes, we do, and Abra is going to be added to the decks. But that's not the only Pokemon we're going to be adding from this battle, as Bentley also grew to level 17. Of course, it evolves at 16, but we received it at that level, so just one level up will allow it to evolve. And this is going to be so awesome. I love me some War Turtle, and there it is. Welcome to the team, Bentley. Shoutouts to Sly Cooper. Really awesome game series, and I think they did a new one actually, but I'm not sure if I played it. But when tapped on its head, the Pokemon will pull it in, but its tail... Huh? I don't even know what that means, but... We're also going to get Abra registered in the Pokedex, of course. It sleeps 18 hours a day, a hey, same dude. If it senses danger, it will teleport away to safety, even as it sleeps. That's pretty wild. And one more thing I want to do before moving on from Vermilion is actually here in the Pokemon Center. If we talk to this hiker over here, hello there, son. Would you like to trade your Geodude for my Geodude? That's right, we have another Alolan trade going on here, as Alolan Geodude can actually be obtained in this game. So we are definitely going to be doing that. And apparently, we've only got one Geodude with us, which is why from now on, I got to make sure to catch or at least keep two of the Cantonian forms of the Pokemon that have Alolan forms, of course. So our only little Geodude is going to be going away to a special place, but in exchange we get, of course, Alolan Geodude. Which in my opinion is just so much better. Rock and Electric type is awesome. Well, maybe not like defense-wise and all that, but it's just a really unique Pokemon, I think. Surprise, aren't you? My Geodude's from Alola. If you bring more Cantonian Geodude, I'll be happy to trade with you anytime. Oh! I actually didn't know that, so I guess they'll trade as many as you want, and I guess that probably applies for all of the Alola trades, I'm assuming. But now it is finally time to move on. It's time to head on board the SSN with our teammates, and I wonder if we actually have Geodude with us. Oh, and I forgot to heal. Alright, this time for real, we've got the new squad. It's a new age with Bentley, Artie, and Cinder, and I just realized we got A, B, C. But I think Charmander is second on the Pokedex, so if he had a B name, it'd be like perfect. Anyway, you can't actually nickname the traded Pokemon as much as I would love to nickname our little Geodude here, uh, who's actually a girl, so I guess it's Geodudette. That's gonna be your unofficial name now, at least until you become a Graveler. But it's finally time, guys. Let's head on board the SSN, which is, of course, down here by the docks. And I am so excited. If you guys are excited as well, make sure to hit that like button, show your support for the series, and welcome to the SSN. But not so fast. Do you have a ticket, young fellow? Why, yes, we do, and we're gonna flash it, apparently. Yep, that'll do. Welcome aboard. Oh, and that's not all. You're the 100 guests to join us aboard the SSN today. So here you go. Please enjoy this breezy outfit as you feel the salty air on your skin. Hey, we get the sailor outfit, which actually reminds me that we got another outfit in the last episode as well as Arcanine. So definitely check out that last one if you missed it. If you want to get yourself an Arcanine, uh, all you need to do is catch five Meowths in at least Let's Go Eevee version because you can only get Persian in Let's Go Pikachu. But here we are aboard the SSN. And before we go any further, I think it's time we dress a little more appropriately. So we're going to choose an outfit for Darwin first. Uh, we've got the sailor cap there. Oh, that's so cute. I, lo I love that. 
Um, and I think we also got the Eevee set, but maybe that's for uh, our own character then. Alright, we'll put the Sailor T on Darwin there. And if we switch over to Orange, or me, I guess, there's bags? Wait a second. Oh, turn! There we go. Oh, that's so cool! There's a Sailor bag, Eevee bag. Isn't there a way you can do the full outfit, or is it outerwear? That's probably, yeah, the shirt. Ooh, the Eevee top actually looks pretty cool, but since we're on the SSN, of course, we're going to put on the Sailor top. And I just realized there's no way not to have a bag. That'd be kind of cool if they gave you the option not to have one, but I mean, where would you store all your Pokeballs, of course? Uh, the most important thing, though, is the hat. So let's check out the Sailor cap, the Eevee cap. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's literally the same model, just uh, retextured, so... I don't know, there's something a little weird about that, but the shoes, of course, I actually kind of like the Eevee shoes. I'm gonna keep those for a while. They look like boat shoes, so they kind of fit too, but finally we've got the shorts, you know. We'll go for the sailor shorts just because we're on the SSN. We gotta be as appropriate as possible over here, even though we're not sailors at all. We're just guests, but hey, it's Gibby! You think I forgot what you did last episode already, buddy? Thanks again for the ticket! This ship is huge and full of trainers and whoa! Look at the trainer that just walked up! Bonjour! If it isn't Orange and Gibby, didn't think I'd be seeing the two of you here. Hey Blue! Are you taking a cruise? Not hardly. I got invited to the exclusive party for trainers, but I'm pretty much done with the scene. I got plenty of party favors too. Here, I can even share one with you. What? I, I don't even know what that is. Chalure? Sable? Sable? Uh, I don't speak French. More importantly though, you want to know what I overheard at the party? You guys know about Team Rocket, right? Yeah, I guess they're bad guys. All kinds of rumors going around about the things they get up to. What kind of things? The point is, Team Rocket is a dangerous group, and they're trying to use Pokemon to make themselves rich. I might do some digging into what it is they're really after, and you two'd better stay out of their path. Wait, doesn't every Pokemon trainer use Pokemon to get rich though? I mean, I guess it's the way that you do it that matters, but... Team Rocket, huh? Orange, if you get tangled up with those jerks again, you should call me! Ooh, does that mean we're gonna have a tag battle with, uh, Gibby? Or like, you know, a little co-op session or whatever? You might get challenged to battle by some of the really bored ones. Oh yeah, of course! All of the guests here at the SSN, or at least most of them, I believe, are also Pokemon trainers. Waiter, yes, you waiter! I need a slice of cake! Do I look like a waiter woman? Oh my gosh. I'm so offended. Or not really, but that was rude as heck, dude. Like, I'm clearly wearing a sailor outfit, not a waiter. But, uh, <laughs> Wigglytuff is just bouncing on the bed. I never leave home without it. That's pretty cool. Pew, pew, pew. The cries are so weird, though. Like, in every Pokemon game, the way that they write the cries, I guess it's kind of hard to write, you know, a random squealing noise, but... Ooh, I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. What? Is she gonna have some non-Kanto Pokemon right here? I don't even think they're in the game's data, so I don't know how she'd do that, but... Oh, she's got a Pidgey. And also a Pikachu. Okay, I guess it could be a Pikachu from like Kalos or something, but that's not exactly what I thought of when you said Pokemon from around the world. That's some clickbait right there. Oh no, she clearly gets around. Anyway, uh, we got another youngster over here trying to creep behind the couch, huh? You thought I didn't spot you, but I guess he spotted us technically because that's how trainers work. But youngster Tyler's out here with his Mankey. Only one Pokemon here, so I guess we can take him on. Psych! I'm going to be trying something a little different with uh, the editing here because usually these videos have been taking me way longer than usual to edit, and that's why I've really only been doing uh, daily uploads and I actually want to give you guys an update on that because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do double uploads at least for the coming week uh, but in the future I might go back to it just uh, get this paralyzed heal real quick and actually I guess we'll talk to this lady we're cruising around the world my children and I oh so this is your daughter huh better keep an eye on her man that's dangerous but yeah, I'm actually going to be going on a trip of my own pretty soon on Friday. I'm going to visit my girlfriend for her birthday just for the weekend. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep the daily videos up, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do double uploads just because, you know, I'll be a little bit busy over there. But shh, I'm an agent for the International Police. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. They're up to nothing good. Wait a second. Is this Looker's dad? Nah, I mean, he's just clearly another International Policeman. Looker... 
Would he have even been around at this point? I guess he would have, but he wouldn't have been that old. Bonjour, I am the waiter on this ship. I will be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, the strong talent type, uh, très bien. I'm sorry, French people. <laughs> My accents are so bad. Like, it's fun to try to do other accents, but I don't know. I'm just really bad at most of them, I feel like. I'm so busy. I'm getting dizzy. You gotta give me room here. Oh. We're in the kitchen right now, of course. And I've actually been forgetting to check the trash cans in the rooms. I don't think there's probably anything in the rooms, but at least here I know for sure uh, is where you used to be able to get leftovers, I think. And holy moly. <laughs> What? I only get to peel onions, Snivel. <laughs> Have you heard about Snorlax? It's a real glutton. No other Pokemon eats and sleeps the way Snorlax can. Is there even anything in these cans? Speaking of cans, I peel put spuds every day. <laughs> I think the onion guys got it the worst, but yeah, I guess there's nothing in the trash cans because there's no hidden items. Indeed, I am Le Chef. The main course today is Le Cantonian flavor of pewter crunchies. Let's guess the mutiny, I fear. Oh, we don't want that. <laughs> Mutiny, I think that's like when the whole like ship crew and stuff rebels on you, but they're called cloches. They keep hot dishes from cooling. Oh, that's a fun fact. I actually would have never known what those are called. They're shaped like something I do know though, but let's move on then. Uh, we got some pretty paintings on the wall there. Wait, what is that? A dugong. That's cool. Alright, I guess we'll go upstairs. I know that's where the captain is, and I'm trying to avoid the captain for a little bit, but whoa! Is that Cosmog? What is that? Oh, it's a shelter. I was like, no way it's Cosmog, bro. Okay, we're not gonna check out every single painting, of course. This ship, she's a luxury liner that Pokemon trainers the world over love to get a ride on. Every time we pull into port, we have a fancy party and invite all the best trainers. Including us, of course, who kind of snuck on here, to be honest. I mean... We just got a ticket from Bill, but Bill knew we were a good trainer, you know, so I don't feel bad or anything about being here. I mean, we're probably the best trainer that's in this entire ship, to be honest. And I'm kind of thinking I should check the trash cans in the rooms now because you never know which one might have a hidden item, you know. Not this one, though. But there is an item behind the fisherman. Check out what I fished up. Oh, hopefully nothing too spooky. I mean, it's probably a Magikarp knowing these fishermen here with their... Wow, of course it is! <laughs> Dale, we eating fish fillet tonight, baby! As we burn him to a little crisp there. The disrespect ember to finish off the water type there. Of course, that's not too effective, but... Like I said, we're having fish fillet tonight, Dale! Flied... or fried Magikarp. Um... I don't know if Pokemon are actually eaten, but I mean, Slowpoke Tails is a delicacy, right? Maybe they like rewrote that so it's not a thing anymore, but um, I just realized that there was probably a bottom part to the ship, and I guess we're going to have to backtrack to that eventually, but small trees can be chopped down by the masterful secret technique chop down, which is exactly what we're here on the boat for, so uh, let's, I guess, nothing going on but two old men in this room, maybe old friends from... You know, the war era, whatever Lieutenant Surge fought in. I've actually always been curious about that, because the only war we've ever heard of in the Pokemon world was the Great Kalos War, which I'm pretty sure was like hundreds of years ago or something, so Lieutenant Surge definitely wasn't in that, but I mean, just like the real world, I guess, wars are happening all the time. So if you're in the army, like, you could just get sent off to somewhere. Not maybe full-on wars or whatever, but places to go do army stuff. I don't know anything about the army, clearly, but uh, this dude's actually got the first Ponyta of the game, and that gives us a chance to send out our newly acquired buddy, Bentley, the War Turtle. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I do love me some Sly Cooper. Actually, all of those games that came out like around the same time, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, and Sly Cooper, they were like literally my favorite games growing up. It was like the trifecta of perfect games, at least in my eyes, and... You know, I'm glad that we can have some uh, references to them. They're not real references. I'm making the references, but this gentleman here went for a full restore, which is a little bit annoying, but we take down the Ponyta eventually, and I'm thinking maybe I should actually switch Bentley up first uh, so he can get some more experience. Good match. I feel young again. That's great, my dude. Maybe you should have a couple more Pokemon, though, you know, <laughs> next time. I mean, I don't mind it though, honestly. The quicker the battles go, the better at this point. Uh, we just want this experience and that chop down, uh, not TM, 
I was about to say that, but it's secret technique now. ST. Thankfully, none of these guys have dig or any other ground moves, because that would have been pretty bad for Cinder. Who I really hope I haven't called Fuego yet in this episode, because uh, I know a lot of you are upset uh, in the first place that I replaced Fuego, kind of. I mean, I wouldn't say replace, he's still chilling in the Pokemon box, and eventually I'll evolve him into a Charizard as well, uh, so that we can have both Charizard X and Y when the Mega Evolutions kick in. Um, but, you know, I gotta remember, it's a new generation, it's a new age. We got Cinder, Artie, and Bentley. Have you been to the Go Park Complex in Fuchsia? There were many rare Pokemon there. I mean, we haven't even been close to Fuchsia City yet, so no, my dude, but... Yeah, that's where the captain is, so we got one more room to explore, and then we'll backtrack a little bit, check out the under part of the boat, but, uh, I guess that's it for the trainers, actually. I hear it's really quite common, people getting seasick, that is. Is that so? I've actually rarely been on boats in real life, like, ever. I remember when I was way younger, uh, my grandpa, actually, I don't think it was his boat, but his brother or something, and he would keep it at our house, so me and my friends from the neighborhood would, like, play on the boat and pretend we were actually, like, pirates, even though it was just in the middle of the street, you know, but it was still really fun, and, you know, your imagination is, like, a million percent when you're younger, so uh, we definitely believe we were set in sail and everything, but here we are on the ship's deck, and Evie is once again so excited, yep, very excited. Seems like Darwin wants to see what's up ahead on the ship. Ooh, do we gotta do the, uh, Titanic moment, you know? Hold me, Jack! Except it's gonna be Hold Me Darwin, or maybe Darwin's gonna be holding us, I don't know, but looks like we've got a couple of sailors to get through first. Oi, matey, let's do a little jig! What? What is it? What is a jig? Like a dance? Or like, I guess a battle in this case, as we've got Sailor Edmund. Edmund sounds like a positively British name, or maybe that's just me being dumb, but... I mean, he did say matey. All right, I'm gonna stop talking about accents. We're gonna Vine Whip the Poliwag and take it down, no problem. That's actually his only Pokemon, so I'm gonna make sure to swap up our lead Pokemon. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter anymore since uh, there's barely any more trainers left, but I mean, there's at least one, so we might as well do it. And I also wanted to bring out Geodude. Even though this is like the most inappropriate Pokemon to have on a ship. Like if this thing fell overboard, it would just... It's done! It's a rock! It's just sinking right down to the bottom. Um, but here we've got another trainer. Ahoy there! Do you not get seasick on ships? Oh yeah, I was actually talking about how I'm pretty sure we only took the boat out like once. Uh, me and my grandpa and his brother and I guess a cousin of mine or something. Isn't that like second cousins when it's like your grandpa's brother's kid, but he was like my age still, so I don't know, we were basically like, you know, first cousins as far as like hanging out and everything. I had a lot of those growing up actually, where they were like my great aunt's kids, but they were like my same age, so uh, they were basically like all my cousins, you know, a lot of cousins basically over in Puerto Rico back in the good old days, or are the good old days now? I don't know, I feel like my whole life has been pretty good old days just because I'm Pretty relaxed and chill in general, but my good sailor has got a Machop as his second Pokemon as it goes down. And to finish off my story, um, I think we only went out on the boat once to the ocean to catch some crabs or something. I don't think we actually got many fish, but it was pretty fun. And I don't actually remember getting seasick at all, but I've never been on a cruise or anything. I would love to do that, so maybe 2019 is the year. I came out for some air because I got seasick. Oh, I guess it's pretty common, but... Here we are, it's time for the Titanic moment. And I don't mean crashing into an iceberg, that would be really tragic. You gaze over the wide open sea together with Darwin. Wait, we're still in Vermilion, we haven't even left. What? Is this how cruises work? I mean, I don't know, but wait, I just realized Geodude floats. I mean, I guess that's how Geodude's always been, but... You know, we had our little moment with Darwin on the deck, I guess that's about all that there was to it though. I was expecting something else, but uh, let's backtrack a little bit to the right side of the boat or the back side of it, since I guess that's how boats work. You know, you got the front is the deck and then the back is, I don't actually know, but hey, this lady will actually heal up our Pokemon. Ain't that nice? I was actually looking for that since uh, Cinder was about to faint, but it's just because you look like my little brother. Oh, what? I thought she was about to tell us something else, but apparently, uh, 
you know, she was just nice enough to heal us up since uh, we remind her of someone from a long time ago. You insolent pup! How dare you barge in! What? I was not expecting this man to be a trainer just staring out into the ocean there. Or is he staring at Vermilion City technically because we're still docked right now, so... I don't actually know what he's staring at, but... Hey, he's got a Growlithe, which is actually uh, the exclusive you can find over in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, we've swapped on over to Bentley, who should be able to handle this a whole lot easier. So let's see if the Bubble will do it. And we really need something stronger than Bubble right now, because, yeah, that does nothing, dude. Oh, man. I mean, his Ember does nothing either, at least, but I hope we can learn Bubble Beam soon enough. We're about to get level 19, at least, and you gotta be kidding me. These gentlemen, dude, they're too rich right now. Like, do you not understand that a Super Potion would probably do the same thing as a Forest store at this point? You really gotta go and be all bougie like that, you know? Is that the right use of the word? I'm not sure. I'm basically trying to say that he's showing off to us a little bit. He's flexing, you know? Gentleman Arthur, you rude child. You have no sense of courtesy. I guess that's true. I always just barge into people's rooms. Who knows what he was actually doing staring out at the ocean there, but... Uh, yeah, he's just a show-off at the end of the day, so we gotta put him down a little bit. Um... I'm just gonna walk out of here, actually. I don't even want to talk to that guy. <laughs> Watch him have actually had something for us, but you know what? We'll come back for him. I'm gonna just let him finish whatever he was doing there. And we will check out the bottom area of the boat. My partner Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to even shove big rocks out the way, as if they were nothing. Oh. I thought that was like Machamp's job, you know? In uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, you got that Machamp, uh, Poke Ride? Is that what they were called? Basically, the HMs in that game equivalent. You know what they say about sailors? We're all itching for a fight after ages at the sea. I actually did not know they said that. But I could assume, you know, there's a lot of built-up aggression as Leonard here is gonna send out- Ooh! Slowpoke. I think that's the first one that we've actually encountered as well. And I keep saying encounter, but I mean like the first one that we fought even, or seen at all. Um, because there haven't been any in the wild, of course. Aside from that one lady in Pewter City who asked us to watch her slowpoke. And I mean literally just watch it. Like, that's all we had to do was just stand there and stare. And now, wow, the Vine Whip is not quite gonna take it out. I really hope we learn some stronger attacks soon because Vine Whip, Ember, and Bubble are just not cutting it right now. And maybe now I'm actually understanding why our Pikachu learned Thunderbolt at such an early level because I guess they kind of want you to one-shot most things in this game. And that's just not possible with a little Thundershock, you know? But there we go, level 21. Oh, that was the level Pikachu learned Thunderbolt. I was hoping that maybe we'd learn like Razor Leaf at least by now, but I guess not. We'll just keep on training, not worry about it. Our little Geodude is floating on by, just like all our worries in life, you know. And, okay, we've got an item over here, as well as another Sailor. Even we have Pokemon. Everybody in this world's got Pokemon, dude. Are you sure you're in the right world? Like, are you from Earth 3? I wonder with which Earth would have Pokemon. This might just be Earth 151. You know what I'm saying. Artie took quite a beating against that uh, Psyduck though, so we gotta bring out Ray, the real powerhouse of the team. And I guess Darwin is as well, but we haven't really used Darwin at all in this episode yet. Even though we put on the Sailor outfit and everything, so definitely gotta make sure to get Darwin in at least one battle uh, before the episode is over. Or I guess before we run out of trainers here on the boat at least, but... There's a super potion, and I believe we skipped this room here, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be nothing. Oh, never mind. We got a worker of some kind. I like feisty kids like you. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, but sure, let's let's take him on. I'm gonna guess Dylan here. Yo, well, throw back to Jethro Tex, and I was literally about to say Magnemite is gonna be his Pokemon, and it is. Uh, but as you'll soon find out, do quite some damage to Magnemite. So there's one and a two and are you gonna have another one or is it gonna be Voltorb? Let me guess. It's gonna be Voltorb, huh? Nope, it's actually two Magnemites. All right. This is not the Dylan I remember. He wouldn't have just used two Magnemites. That's just so weird, man. Must be, you know, Earth 151. Like I said, it's an alternate version. Ah, lost it. That's probably the funniest defeat like face ever. 
bows and everything in general, but uh, we have two items in here actually for the two Magnemites that we just took down, a full heal and an elixir, wow. Coffee mug there too, it's kind of cool. Can't pick it up though or anything, so I don't know why I'm pointing it out, but uh, we've got one last room it looks like and one last fisherman to take on. At least we already showed off Darwin in its little sailor uniform, so I guess we don't have to worry too much about that. I mean, you guys have been seeing it on top of my head this entire time, so I guess we got to see the sailor outfit every single battle, technically. Uh, but this dude has got a Goldeen, which I actually don't remember if we've fought before, but Artie is still in no fighting condition. So how about for once we actually heal up? Do we even have... Oh, we do have super potions at this point. Let's go for that then. A69 HP. And his next Pokemon is actually going to be Horsey, which we have not seen so far. A lot of new Pokemon actually uh, over in the SSN. Probably because we haven't been able to get to a water route yet. And, you know, there's a bunch of sailors and fishermen in here, so they like to use water types. But we also saw a lot of random Pokemon like Ponyta, Growlithe. I mean, I guess it's the gentlemen too, you know, they're luxurious. All these people are in this boat. Except for us, that is. But goes down pretty quickly there. And Cinder gains a level. I let that one get away. Oh man. Guess you didn't have what it takes. But uh, if there was any room that would have had a item in the trash can, it would have been that one. And still nothing. So I guess that's about it for the boat. Now that we've done all that, let's go back in here and. All right. I guess he's, he's still at it, huh? Staying in bed doing nothing during my much-awaited cruise ship. Ah, what a luxury. Honestly, I feel that, bro. Whenever I go on vacation, I also tend to sleep a lot. Even though you want to, like, check it out and, you know, do touristy stuff, sometimes you just need to really relax, you know? Anyway, we're back over here, and it is finally time to go check out the captain. Hey, Orange! Over here! Wait, how did you... There's no way! You were just down there, and now... Are you a time traveler? You see those stairs there? The captain's quarters are up there. He can teach you this cool secret technique if you ask him. He's really famous for it. Though, he looked pretty done in by seasickness when I saw him. Hey, before you go to meet him, how about I take a look to see how well you've been raising your Pokemon, huh? Oh, okay. I do remember the rival battle in the SSN, and Gibby is gonna keep that tradition going, so here we go with his Pidgeotto. Awesome. At least he's finally evolving his Pokemon, you know? Unfortunately for us, though, uh, this is not the best matchup for Artie, so I think we'll bring out Ray. I would bring out Bentley, but, I mean, Bubble's not gonna do much, you know, so don't get it twisted, because uh, after what Gibby did last episode, I'm just a little bit confused, you know? I don't judge, you know, Gibby, if that's what you're into, buddy, that's that's cool with me. I support it, just, you know, me, myself, I'm uh, into the ladies, so... If you ever want to pick out some revives out of our hair again, you know, feel free to. I, I don't care. You can play with my hair if you want, bro, but that's as far as it goes, you know. Anyway, he's actually got a potion for his Pidgeotto, which actually he avoids our quick attack anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go for the Thunderbolt again. Actually, he's got a quick attack of his own. And somehow avoids another Thunderbolt. Or our attack or whatever. How is this Pidgeotto so good at dodging things? Oh my... Did you actually use, like, one sand attack and it's doing this much? There's no way, bro. That's three moves in a row now. I swear, if it's four... What the heck, dude? This can't be real. Oh, my gosh. Gibby. Come on, my dude. I'm not making this up. This is actually happening. Like, you guys are watching this right now. And this is for real. Two HP. And finally, Ray... <laughs> is gonna hit her move oh my wow talk about cutting it close huh all right well at least we take down his yeg dip and actually yeg dip is taking a ride on the bench for this episode uh but he'll be back don't worry guys i just wanted to uh train up little geo dudette here as actually yeg dip would have been great against this oddish that's coming up but we do have cinder on the team of course uh which is just as good as taking on uh grass types so Come on, Gibby. Let's get this done with... Oh my gosh, what's up with the head bombing on Oddish there? <laughs> uh, I actually like the haircut on Gibby. Kind of matches with Oddish. 
Not really, but... I don't know why, when I was doing the thumbnail for the last episode, I think was the first time I had our rival on one, and I didn't really notice his hair was like the Sasuke spikes until then, but it actually looks pretty cool. Like, the more that we actually fight Gibby and see him in the game, I guess the more I dig his design. Like, I was not about it at all when we first saw him in the trailers and everything, but... Yeah, I guess certain characters just grow on you, you know? As I was just hating on Gibby for, you know, whatever he pulled off last episode. Uh, but honestly, if you were playing as the girl character, it would have been... We wouldn't even be having this discussion. I think it's just funny. It goes dark and everything, it leaves it a little bit up to the air, mysterious, but... He literally just pulled out a revive from our hair. It was a little magic trick he wanted to show us, you know? Whoa! I can't believe it! I can't believe you! So devastated! <laughs> wow, Orange. You! You've gotten pretty strong. Oh, uh, nothing. That's cool. Anyway, go meet the captain and have him show you his secret technique. It actually felt like Gibby was a little disappointed there. Oh. Darwin's acting like it wanted to touch Gibby's hair. How did they know? I was literally just talking about that. Alright, let's 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 play with uh, Darwin a little bit. It's been a little while. I think someone said you can actually... Oh, you can! You can poke the ears and... Oh, no, 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 not that. Okay. Come on. Oh, look at that! You can poke her little cheeks. Or his. Sorry, I, I always do that. But that is so cute, man. I love it. Evie's cries are just too much. I I can't handle this cuteness. That is enough though. Let's uh, move along now as we've got a secret technique to grab and a captain's back to rub. Ugh, I feel terrible. Ugh, this seasickness has done me in. How do you get seasick as a captain? Like you're on a boat pretty much your whole life. You, you gotta get over it at some point. There, there, old fellow. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. So what do you want from me? Oh, you want to learn my secret technique? Of course, I'd be happy to teach it. Come along with me. I don't know the rest of that song. That Evie looks more than ready to learn my secret technique. But I'm afraid it's really only for humans. What? What's this? You really want to try to learn it, no matter what? Well, color me surprised. I've traveled all over this world, and this is the first time I've had a Pokemon want to learn my secret technique. But with Sirit like that, well then, who am I to say no? I'll teach my special secret technique, even to that Eevee of yours. A special secret technique? That's literally ST, Super Special Trainer. This is weird, man. Come with me, little friend. Now watch carefully. Yeah! Whoa, that was... That was wild, dude, and Darwin has learned Chop Down. Whoa! It really went and learned Chop Down. Using Chop Down, your Eevee will be able to chop down tin trees. You could go give it a try. Uh, that's right. How about on the trees around Vermilion City? Phew! Now I guess it's about time for the SSN to set sail again. This may be goodbye for now, until the next time we return to Vermilion City. Probably not for a while though, but I just remembered, yeah, the SSN doesn't set sail until you actually dip, so... I love the captain's chair and the pictures he's got back there, that's pretty cool. Um, but how do we actually know that Eevee learned the secret technique? Like, it's not like there's a chop down tree or a second one that it tested it out on or anything, so... I guess the captain just knows, you know? After all, he is the master of chop down, so... If anyone would be able to tell, I guess it would be him, but... That is it for the SSN. I guess we gotta get on out of here. I hope we actually didn't miss anything because I don't think we're gonna be coming back here for a while. Oh, it's cutscene time. Yes, this music. Is she saying bye bye? Evie can talk, dude, I swear. Someone in the comments said Eevee said Opai the other day, and I went back and heard it and whoa! Is that who I think it is? What? Mina? Aw, well shoot. This is definitely her. <gasps> I was so caught up sketching the ocean view here that I guess I missed my ship. That's awful! The SSN was going to Alola this whole time? Hmm. 
I guess I'll stay here for a while. In that case, I really like the color of the sea in Kanto anyway. Wow, that is so cool! We got a cameo appearance from one of Alola's trial captains. How about it, Kentonian trainer? Wanna try battling my fairy type Pokemon? Of course, heck yeah! And here I go. You're gonna learn how great fairy type Pokemon can be. Whoa! This is quite a surprise as we've got a trainer all the way from Alola here. Pokemon trainer Mina. This is of course way before the Alola games as we've got red and blue in those games uh, being much older. And in these games they look a little more like, I don't know, I guess 15, 16 or something. But in the originals of course they would have been each 11. And then in Alola they're like 20 something. So the Pokemon timeline is, you know, it's there. It's not exactly like perfect but oh we got put to sleep that sucks all right that's enough playing around darwin it's time to take charge and hey the disable was coming through so that's a good thing that we swapped perfect timing there this headbutt should definitely finish off jigglypuff uh, mina though still has one more pokemon and yeah if you look at mina she's definitely a lot younger as well uh looking like about our age i guess our character maybe a little bit older but Oh, she's got a Mr. Mime as her second Pokemon. That is so cool. Oh, dude, Mr. Mime. That's so awesome. The animation for his, like, just everything, I guess. But let's go for another headbutt. Just about half damage. And we get the flinch, though. That's awesome. I just can't believe Mina's actually in this game. Now I'm, like, so excited to see what other references or, like, cameos, appearances we might see later on in the game. Uh, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves as Darwin is already level 26. Holy moly, we gotta train up the rest of our party. I'm gonna go catch some more Vulpixes. I, I still wanna get that shiny, but I'm shocked at your strength. And we get a bottle cap. The heck is that? I guess we did meet the hyper training dude. I think that's what the bottle caps are for, but wonderful. You and your Pokemon battling side by side. Now that's a great composition. I'd love to draw a picture of you two. Is she going to do it right now? I can't go back to Alola until I defeat you. Eh, just kidding, but let's battle again sometime. Ooh, maybe there's like a post-game rematch with her or something. I'm not really sure, but... Oh, champ in the making, bro. What's going on? <laughs> He's like doing the... I'll just, I'll just put it up on screen, you know, because I don't know what that's actually called. But anyway, uh, with all of that done... I guess that is going to be the end of this episode, but actually before we do, oh, I guess there's like a bunch of trainers on Route 11 over here, including a co-trainer, okay. I wanted to go to the IV checker and see the stats of our, you know, three starter Pokemon, um, but that's all the way across the route and I don't want to accidentally run into any trainers, so I guess that is going to be the end of this episode. Holy moly, that was an unexpected ending, battling Mina there, but it was so awesome, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and in the next one, we will take on Lieutenant Surge's gym. So, daily uploads from now on. I know a lot of you want to see more than that, but I'm really sorry. I've just... I'm a busy orange, you know? And I want to keep uploading, but I don't want to overdo it either, or overwork myself too, so hope you guys don't mind. Stay tuned for more episodes coming up every day, and I will catch you in the next one.